Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for the past few weeks, we've been showing you a new clips on our new shrimp farms that we've been busy setting up this year. In this video, I'll be going through some of our new tank setup, which is made from HDPE, high density polyethylene, and how do we set them up and why we are using them in our new tanks. <laughs> For those that are new to RS aquaculture, we provide a host of technologies and methods for the cultivation of mud crabs and brackish water vaname, mainly what Pacific white shrimps. And every week we release some content with regards to the cultivation of these species. If you like to receive notification on our latest video that we post every week, do like and subscribe to our channel. And back to business. So for the past few weeks, you know, we've been showing you guys our new shrimp farm. And you probably have realized that most of our tanks in the past are made from PVC, which is this blue tank that you've seen in our previous videos. However, we did not stick uh, with this solution uh, going forward with our newer tanks because of some of the problems we have highlighted in the previous videos. Note that these PVC tanks have been with us for the past two years and we have actually done more than eight to nine batches of shrimps in these grow out tanks so as we head over to the new section of our shrimp farm you can see that the new tanks are actually made from hdpe so which is the black material that you see over here you will probably realize that the structure is also a bit different um, the structure here that we've been using may consists of a c channel followed by a what we call this round bar that actually galvanized. So these are actually galvanized metal part that is more corrosion resistance. And you can see that the HDPE sheet is actually quite different from the PVC. So we just happen to have some of this HDP sheet that is lying around. And you can see that some of this thickness is actually 1 mm. And you can see that they're already quite strong. So this is what I've been trying to pull it, uh, to stretch it, and it's not quite stretchable as well. So here's another clip of me trying to just split this small <laughs> HDP part uh, into half. As you can see, it's not quite feasible. You know, and hence, we therefore decided to use this HDP because of its durability. And you know, when we are setting up our tank, you know, here's a time lapse of how do we actually do it. You know, we first sort of assemble the metal structure first, which are the underlying rings. And we unfold the big HDP sheet that you see over here. So this is uh, the HDP sheet for our biggest tank and it consists of two two sheets. So to make sure that, you know, because this tank is actually 10 meters in diameter and it's uh, used up to 100 ton uh, per cubic meter, we need a machine to sort of weld these two sheets together to account for that huge diameter. So which is what you see over here during that time lapse. And after we've used this uh, welding machine, you can see that it's actually joined quite well. It should be a watertight uh, weldment. And next will be for us to start assembling the sides of the tank, which is what you see here by putting in some of the metal bars and the support structure to allow it to stand up vertically, which is what you see over at the time lapse over here. And after this, you would actually get two of these nice tanks that you see over here. While the base will probably have been welded together for those that have very huge diameters, but the sides of the tanks are still not welded to the base HDPE sheet. So this is why you will see gaps between the sides of the wall and the base plate, which is what you see over here in a second. So you can see that, you know, uh, you, when you have a little bit of wind, some of the sides of the wall will actually uh, move in because of the wind. And you can see there's a gap between the side of the wall and the base of the tank. So the next step for us were to ensure that, you know, these parts are actually welded together properly to ensure to it form a tight seal, a watertight seal that's enable us to hold the water with depths up to one meter at least. So before we proceed with the weldment, we will first have to prepare the surface to ensure that the welding process go a bit more smoothly. And this is done by firstly removing any dirt that is on top of the HDPE liner, especially during areas that require special attention during welding. 
as you see over the seams over here. So my friend is just have to sort of polish some of the parts uh, surrounding the tanks wall of the side and as you can see that he's just slowly going through all of the places that require special attention for welding especially at the seams where it's joined together so you can see that it's quite a laborious process and it requires quite a lot of skill set in ensuring that the surface are all well prepped for weldment so the next step will consist of us using a hot gun to heat up the HTP sheets mainly uh, the base and the sides to ensure that it sticks together under a slightly elevated temperature which is what you see that my friends are doing at the moment and here's a top view of how it actually works you can see one guy is actually uh, prepping the front surface and we are just slowly heating up and using a roller to press both sheets together before the last welding process so you can see each tank will require uh, us to proceed with cautions and to ensure that the seams are joined uh, correctly and firmly to ensure that there is no water leak as we proceed with our shrimp farm. So we will continue with this process for all the three tanks and after it's done uh, by joining two sheets with a hot gun we will use an extruder uh, which is what you will see here and to extrude additional material to bind these two sheets together. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like the content that we are doing, do like and subscribe so you'll get a notification on our next video which covers the extrusion process.